So the first one we're going to taste is uh, Simon B's Le Complan Bourgogne Blanc, um, 2008. Uh, white Burgundy is one of my favorite wines on the entire face of the planet. And I think rightfully so. Um, it differs so much from New World Chardonnays in that there's just such an expression of of the ground, the terroir, the climate. It's going to be lighter. There's this kind of unbearable lightness of being on the finish uh, that's completely different from the heaviness and richness of New World Chardonnays or the style or the generic styles of them, I suppose. Um, this is going to uh, just be an entry level uh, Chardonnay from, from the producer Simon Bees. When you smell it, there's something ethereal about it. It smells like limestone and salt. It's savory. Um, it reminds me of this hay field that I used to uh, drive to going to school when I was younger. Um, so there's like this baked ground component and sometimes you can use it to season your food. So I love it to use as almost like a salt component or a savory, savory component for uh, things that you want to start off on. Um, like french fries or charcuterie plates or we have a wonderful cheese platter here um, at Second Barn Kitchen. So I, I really enjoy that and it's super diverse. It's a white wine that you can use for red wine dishes. Um, I love it with sweet breads, with pork, uh, lighter meats, um, not necessarily something as rich as a marbleized meat like um, a ribeye. I generally like red wines with that, um, but if you're a white wine drinker and there's a dish that you feel should have red wine with it, I think that white burgundy or Chardonnays in general are really great options for, for white wine drinkers to to drink when other everybody else at the table is going to be drinking red wine. So uh, if you come to the restaurant here and get a bottle of the Simon B, it would be approximately $50 a bottle, about approximately $14 a glass. Um, sadly, White Burgundies are probably the most expensive white wines on the face of the planet, but there are great values out there. Um, I would say that they would start ranging in a restaurant somewhere between 11 to $12 a glass, um, all the way to the thousands of dollars per bottle. So really, it's something that you want to ask your sommelier about, or if you're going to purchase some retail, ask your favorite retailer. Um, what a good bargain is and don't be afraid to ask about price uh, i always say i'm looking for something within the 35 to 50 dollar range or whatever occasion you're going for um so they can find the best option for you white burgundies are so so complex in different um, villages and levels of quality they're producer driven so you need to know about um, the actual person that's making the wine and I think that's why a lot of people find white burgundy so remote is because there's so much information out there about them so feel free to ask your your resident expert and we'll be happy to find something that's perfect for you